an American filmmaker whose father came from Hong Kong has tried to capture the real city in a seven-minute production called Hong Kong Strong that's proved a real hit with locals. Let's show you a bit of it. Well, I'm pleased to say the filmmaker Brandon Lee joins us now from L.A. in California. Uh, Brandon, it makes me want to go back again. It's been years since I've been to Hong Kong. What do you think you managed to get that was, that was different in the way you've portrayed the city? Well, my whole goal in making the film was to capture something intimate about a city that can be anything but intimate. And, you know, it's such a huge, diverse, complex city that to try to capture a character of it, like a sense of the character, is just like something that I thought was a, a really unique filmmaking challenge. And personally, I wanted to explore my own Cantonese heritage because I grew up in the U.S. I hadn't really explored too much of uh, my own you know, culture. So I thought going there and making a film about it, getting to know my uncle, getting to know some of my cousins would be a great experience. Now, some of the shots you've given us, um, some amazing drone footage too, some of the shots the tourist board would love. Others are more of the underbelly or the tougher part of living in Hong Kong. And, and you were really trying to get the grittiness as well. I wanted to capture all levels of Hong Kong and all the layers. You know, I view Hong Kong as a big layer cake. And from top to bottom, it's fascinating to me. So, yeah, I, I really made an effort to capture the glitzy side, uh, you know, kind of the glamorous side. And the side that's not so glamorous, the working class side, and the daily existence of people from all walks of life in Hong Kong. Did you find it hard to persuade some people to talk to you as you're walking around? You're the outsider with your camera. I found that I could not persuade people when I was alone. <laughs> a lot of people did not want to be on camera. I'd say about 90% of the people I approached did not want to be on camera. So. I enlisted the help of my friends, I enlisted the help of family, um, I flew in my producer, Ansley Sawyer, who's helped me on a couple projects in the past, and it just, we, we pooled all of our resources and talked to everybody we could talk to and came up with a lot of people that were really cool with being on camera. And I, it was really a matter of getting to know them personally and trying to be on the inside rather than being an outsider. And to some extent, obviously, you've managed that because looking at the local press, a lot of people in Hong Kong, have thousands, have seen your video. And they've talked about a sense of pride. Did that come over to you, people wanting to talk about Hong Kong identity? Identity is huge in the way that people reacted to the video. You know, I think they shared it because it presents, it presents like a positive side of Hong Kong without being too glossy without being fake. I just wanted to show, I guess, the real soul of the city without being patronizing and without glorifying anything. I was trying to make something that just felt true. Brandon Lee, thank you so much for talking to us here on Impact and for getting up again in the middle of the night. And I think we have some of your video on the BBC website as well. Thanks a lot.